Hey golfers, Drew and Thomas out here today on the golf course at Les Bolstead. It's a chilly spring day. Uh, I've got Thomas with me because we are talking about pre-shot routine, Thomas. And I know as a professional golfer, uh, and you see it anytime you're watching golf on the weekends as well, pre-shot routine seems to be very important for these professional players. And so talk to me about what kind of a pre-shot routine does for you and how it helps you. I mean, it's very important because it reminds you what you're trying to achieve with your golf shot. Mm -hmm. If you don't have one, you're not thinking about any other elements that come into play basically like you're hitting in a bubble right uh, you, you, when you're outside you got wind you got rain you got mm -hmm. slope to deal with you got temperature mm -hmm. you got playing partners to deal with so right. you're really just trying to keep yourself consistent every single time to prepare yourself to hit the next golf shot right because I mean I think that's the beautiful thing about golf is that every shot is different uh, it, there's different like you said the wind the everything that plays into it makes every shot unique and so assessing every shot in a kind of different but also through that same routine uh, way is, is probably the right way to go about it. So uh, today we kind of wanted to have you maybe walk through your process and I know it's probably not going to be the same for every golfer but some of the key things that you think should be basically in every pre-shot routine. Right and you say it's not going to be the same for every golfer but the number one most important What's thing is keeping it consistent. Yeah. So whether you take one or two practice swings every single time, whether you look from behind the ball, whether you take a practice from inside the ball, it's really important to keep your routine as consistent mm -hmm. as you possibly can. Okay, well, why don't you walk us through yours today? Uh, we're on the third hole here at Let's Bull Set, kind of a shorter par four, uh, but walk us through what you do for a tee shot like this one. All right, sounds good. So the first thing I do once I get to the tee is I'm trying to find well, a level tee part of yeah. the ground, or I'm even assessing what way the wind's coming, or if the, sh if the hole's like a left to right or yep. right to left. Shot. So sometimes I may tee off from the left side of the tee box. Sometimes I may tee off from the right tee side of the tee box. Because yep. I'm trying to kind of hit away from the trouble. I'm trying to shape my shot yep. with whatever the hole presents itself. Of course. With. So the first thing I usually do is I get up here and I kind of check to see where the wind's going. But that one there, there was, the wind kind of dropped on us a little bit. I know the wind was just a little bit out of the left to right here, so it's going this way yep. a little bit. So I know that I need to play that little bit of wind or I have to play a little draw to hold up against the sure, wind. Sure, sure. So for this particular shot, left is better than right. Yeah. So I'm probably going to play, aim a little left and just play that with that wind back sure. to the middle of the fairway. So you're kind of uh, assessing the shot and also weighing the pros and cons of left to right. You know, playing the wind in there. Like, is a is a fade with the wind the better play, or should I hold up a draw? You're kind of thinking about all these things as you're maybe staring behind the shot, looking at everything that's out there. Yeah, exactly. And I've played this golf course many times, yeah. so I know exactly what this hole presents. I know where the trouble is. I know where I can hit it, where I can't hit it. Yeah. But if it's a golf course I haven't played, I would probably get my range finder out. Mm -hmm. I would probably shoot some yardages. I'd probably shoot a yardage to the bunker, to a certain tree. Yeah. And then I would know this is the right club to hit off the tee to give myself in the best position possible for sure. this hole. Sure, sure. Okay, so now you're kind of, you're wor working on teeing up the ball and then let's, let's see, what, let's just talk about what you do in particular. Okay. The number, the practice swings kind of, you know, maybe looking behind the shot, like what do you do? All right, sounds good. So. Find, first, I'm finding myself a nice spot to hit from. So this is a flat part of the tee. When I was looking here, what I was doing was, I was lining my golf shaft up down on an intermediate target line. So I was trying to get myself lined up so I can line my club face up down that line okay. that's in line with my target. So then I can take a couple of practice swings back behind the ball. I'm, when I'm taking these practice swings, I'm not just doing it just to take a practice swing. I'm visualizing what the shape of the shot yeah, is okay. and where I'm going to hit this. So I'm kind of visualizing my shot. And then I kind of take another quick look, get my intermediate target figured out. I walk in, place the club head down at that intermediate target line, take a look at the target, get my feet in line with, my, with the same target, make sure my shoulders align. I check my grip briefly, feel like my posture is feeling pretty good. And then I just go ahead and hit the thing. And so for you, that's all of those things that you just went through, you know, your grip checking, your alignment, your grip, everything, that's all consistent with every shot. Yeah, it's every single time. And it's stuff that I, that I work on on the range. But so grip, alignment, posture, ball position, I like to call it gap B. Yep. Uh, this is stuff that I'm always working on myself or with other students. But it's stuff that I can do in 10 seconds, part of my pre-shot pre routine, so I can trust it on the golf course. Sure, and then it also helps you pull that trigger too. I know some people, if they have doubts creep in over the ball, like at that point, you don't have any of that. When you go through your routine, you, you finish all that gap B to your point, you're you know ready, 
you know, you're you're hitting the ball. Yep, ready to hit the golf shot, here. trust it, and go. All right, 76 yards. Okay, so you're in the middle of the fairway after that tee shot, and one thing I wanted to ask was, so I imagine that pre-shot routine that you just performed is pretty similar for every full shot that you have, you know, irons, fairways, driver. But what about the, the short game shots, the feel ones, like this kind of feely wedge shot or even putts? Like, does anything change in your pre-shot routine? I mean, I'm still thinking, I'm still kind of figure out what the yardage is. Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, 76 yards. I know it's uphill a couple yards, and the wind's hurting and coming out of the left. So I'm gonna, in my mind, play this 80 yards overall. Okay. So I'm picking out the yardage. From there, the only thing that really changes, you know, I'm still doing my practice swings behind the ball, but I'm more feeling about how far I'm gonna take that club okay. back. So I have my clock system with my wedges. Yep. So for me, 80 yards is about a nine o'clock 60 swing. Okay. So I'm gonna take that club back to about here. And, and through. follow through, okay. And then pretty much the same thing with regards to pre-shot routine. Get behind the ball, line myself up in immediate target, I gotta search for something now because I gotta try, I'm trying to find something about one or two feet in front of the ball. So I'm using a divot as my intermediate target. Okay. Place the club down, look at the target, get myself ready, make sure my alignment's all set, and then just hit my shot. So the short answer is really nothing really changes. Yeah. My pre-shot routine is consistent whether I'm hitting driver, yeah. whether I'm hitting irons, whether I'm hitting a wedge into a green. Sure, sure. And then you're kind of, ultimately that extra element is really just thinking how far back do I take the club, whether it's a putter, wedge, etc. Yep. Most important thing is I'm know, I know how far the, the ball is going to go, what yardage I got to play. All right. Well, you're putting for birdie, Thomas. You got, what, 10 feet here. So um, we talked about, you know, full swings. We talked about the kind of half wedges. How about putter here. Um, does anything change from your normal routine? I mean, the same thing applies with putting as we're still trying to pick a target and we're still trying to commit to our pre-shot routine. Yep. And I like to say my pre-shot routine is pretty consistent every single time. And the length length is also pretty pretty consistent every single time. Okay. So with putting, the first thing I'm doing here is I know this putt's uphill, so I'm reading from below the hole. Yeah. So as I'm reading this putt here, it's a pretty straight putt. It looks like it's gonna maybe break just, just a little bit right to left. I will also read from the side here, just to confirm that I know that that hole is higher than where my marker is. So yep. I know this is an uphill putt. So yep. I know this putt's gonna be a little bit slower. Then, picking out my target on where the ball is gonna go in the hole. And I mentioned it's a slight right to left putt. So on the clock, I like to use the clock system. Yeah. So I'm picking about 5.30 on the clock that's gonna go in the hole. So mm -hmm. just right of center. Okay. So then I've gotta line myself up at the target. So I'm use, I like to use a line on the ball. So I'm lining my line up at where I'm trying to start the ball on line. I step back. And the only thing that's different to, compared to a full swing is I take my practice swings back here while I'm looking at the ball. Yeah. You'll notice when I was hitting the full shots, I was taking practice swings back here. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want, yeah. but just keep it consistent right. every single time. So when I'm back here taking my practice swings, I take two practice swings looking at the target. All I'm doing here is I'm visualizing where the ball's gonna go in the hole, how this ball's gonna roll, and how far I need to take the putter back and through. Then I walk in to hit the putt, Get my putter lined up at the target. Make sure my feet, my shoulders are also kind of lined up. And I just pull the trigger. All right, well, Thomas, that was pretty solid birdie there. Uh, so, I mean, a pre-shot routine clearly is pretty critical to, you know, the way you play golf in your process out here. Yeah, and this is just an example of a pre-shot routine. The most important thing is consistency. So making sure that your pre-show routine, whatever you decide your pre-show routine is, is it's the same every single time.